Seed, VSL3, Garden of Life, Culturel, Ritual, Flora, Visbiome, Microbiome Labs, Thorn. These are some of the most recognizable probiotic brands in the country. You've probably seen them before. Whole Foods, Amazon, social media, wellness influencers, celebrity routines. They dominate the gut health conversation. But here's a question that almost nobody asks about probiotics. Where's the actual testing? I reached out to 56 probiotic companies from the biggest names to the smaller boutique brands and asked one thing, show me your certificate of analysis and answer these very specific questions to make sure that you have a quality probiotic. Not pretty labels, not marketing claims, not doctor formulated slogans, actual third party results proving no heavy metals, no microbial contamination, verified probiotic strains, clinical strain designation, there's potency at expiration, and most of all, real survivability in your stomach acid and bile. Otherwise, you're just taking powdered capsules that are really expensive. And just like everything, especially probiotics, transparency matters. And popularity does not equal purity. I am Dr. Christian Gonzalez, a naturopathic doctor and somatic practitioner. And today we are exposing the probiotic industry. Listen in, this one's gonna blow your mind. Probiotics, wow, they pretty much influence every part of human physiology. It's incredible. They regulate digestion, they tune down your inflammation, they modulate your immunity, they directly interact with neurotransmitters through the gut-brain axis, they affect your mental health. But none of this matters, none of it works, unless the strains are correctly identified and they survive in your stomach acid. They gotta be able to go past the intestines into your colon and actually seed or at the very least influence the existing flora. And we wanna make sure that the one we're ingesting is free of contaminants that can actually harm your health. But it's the strain specificity. The problem is there's so many strains of probiotics out there. Not all of them are researched, at least to the level of where we can understand how it helps us clinically. But we know some of the strains that do help us. And strain specificity in a probiotic is everything. Lactobacillus rhamnosus is not enough. You have to know, is it HN001 or GG or LR32? The different strains of the same species can have completely different effects on your body. Now, you probably went to the store and saw a probiotic being sold. And it says 8 billion CFUs, 20 billion CFUs, 50 billion CFUs. Let me go with the higher number, of course. But CFUs, colony forming units, only matter if it's guaranteed at expiration. Many of the brands are actually inflating their numbers at manufacturing and then quietly letting these probiotics, the good bacteria, the numbers of CFUs going down and dying off after storage. So what you're really getting when you're ingesting is way less than the number. Not enough people talk about survivability that matters most probiotics are going to die in the stomach acid unless it is freeze-dried micro encapsulated or naturally acid resistant and i promise you not every company is following those rules and then there's contamination probiotics are already biologically active powders they have bacteria in it but they can also carry yeast mold staph e coli salmonella even pesticides glyphosate heavy metals mycotoxins so this is why in today's day and age, when there's so many companies that we don't know which one to choose from and we want to put our hard-earned money into helping our health, especially in this context, gut health and overall health, the certificate of analysis, third-party test is a non-negotiable. And when a company either doesn't respond or wants to share it or flat out says, I'm not sharing anything, for me, it raises some red flags. So here's what I found. 45 companies never responded Eight responded, but actually refused to provide any further information, like the certificate of analysis. Zero had public certificates of analysis without responding, so we looked on the website, and only three brands passed with full transparency. Three. And yes, some of the most popular names in probiotics were included. The Seeds, the VSL3s, Flora, Culturel's Garden of Life, Microbiome Labs, Visbiome Thorn. They all unfortunately failed to meet basic transparency standards. And remember, popularity does not equal purity. So in this investigation, every brand was evaluated. And we asked them about ingredient sourcing, correct strain naming, origin of each strain, no undisclosed additive or filters, we wanna know. What about testing and safety? We asked about heavy metals, pathogens, yeast and mold, pesticides, glyphosate, mycotoxins. We asked about DNA strain verification. We wanna make sure that you're getting probiotics that they say on the label in there. We're asking for the certificate of analysis for the finished product. 
We want to make sure that it is a clean finished product that it's going into the bottle. We asked about manufacturing standards. What is their facilities like? Are they GMP, NSF, ISO, FDA registered, whatever? But do they have high quality standardized labs that are producing these probiotics? And really the thing that was really specific for probiotics was the product integrity section. Please verify to us what are the colony forming units at expiration date? Because if there's a large drop off between what you put on the label and what we're actually getting, that's a problem. What about stability testing? Does it survive the stomach acid? Is there accurate strain documentation? We want to know that they're transparent, they're clear communicating to their consumer. If a company couldn't meet these standards, which are high, admittedly, but why would we not want a high quality company? Then this is not something that can be approved by me this year. And again, this is always, always for you guys. This is for you all to know what companies to support and for you all to get quality products, transparency, purity, efficacy, all of that. It's a two-way street. Let's celebrate the brands that are doing right by us and let's benefit from the quality brands that are gonna help us, that are gonna help us achieve our health goals. So before we jump into it, in the show notes is a master list of every product review I've ever done from day one years ago. And it has the industry and it has all of the top ones and it has everything you need as a guide for what companies to support. All right, just a few companies over here that I want to review that answered some of the questions but didn't provide third-party testing. This is a maybe next year category. I'm hoping that next year we can have a full correspondence and I can actually give them a proper evaluation. These companies are bio.me or biome or bio.me. Don't know exactly how to say it. Pure Encapsulations, Silver Fern, NutriCost, Hyperbiotics, Ancient Nutrition, EV, and Smidge. Would love to support them maybe next year. Here are companies that cannot be approved for this year. Might be good overall, but we don't know. And unfortunately, I can't support them or give them a stamp of approval. It's Natren, N-A-T-R-E-N, Genestra, Mega We Care, VSL3, Seed, a very popular one, Bioma, Juice Plus, Flora, another popular one, Garden of Life, another popular one, Microbiome Labs, another popular one, Pendulum, Biocide and Botanicals, Metagenics, NFH, and Body Bio. There's no transparency, no verification of the product, no correspondence, no certificate of analysis. Can't evaluate them. Good company to support. One that I've actually never heard of, Happy V. Happy V was one of the only companies to provide a full third-party COA from Eurofins. They produced their product on an ISO accredited lab. This confirms clean microbial results. There are no pathogens. There's accurate strain identity. What they're marketing is what you get. They use clinically studied strains like LA-14, HNO-19, HN-001, and DE-111. And they disclose each strain with the exact colony forming units something almost no major brand does. They also confirm DNA strain verification, stability data through a full two-year shelf life, and the survival percentages for stomach acid and bile. Their ingredients are freeze-dried and blended with simple excipients. They're encapsulated, GMP, UL, and NSF certified facility. So if you want a probiotic that is clinically aligned, we know that it works. We know they're using clinical data to put strains that are clinically proven. They're strain specific. They survive stomach acid and they're fully transparent with testing. Happy V, one of the strongest consumer options in the probiotic space. I thank you, Happy V, for being so transparent and quality. As far as probiotics, did you know that different strains of the same species can actually have opposite effects? One actually may reduce inflammation and the other may increase histamine. This is why strain designation in probiotics is really, really important. You need to know the exact strain. It's far more important than just the species. Without the strain being named, you're essentially taking a mystery organism with mysterious outcomes. You want to know and you want to know clearly. Other companies that I could not give the stamp of approval for this year, Activated, Puridime, doTERRA, Omnibiotic, Love Wellness, Ritual, Nature's Bounty, Nature Sunshine, Yes Global, Global Healing, SFI Health, Progert, Designs for Health, Saluna, Nutrafol. Again, same thing, no correspondence, no third-party testing. I don't know how good it is. Another fantastic company, Mary Ruth's. They provided full third-party certificate of analysis. They confirmed clean microbial results, verified colony forming units, heavy metals well within safe limits, especially if you're giving this to your kids. And Mary Ruth is a big, big, big company for kids products. 
Their manufacturing partners follow strict GMP and accredited testing protocols. Their probiotics demonstrated potency at the expiration date, not just at the manufacturing date, which is essential for me to give a stamp of approval. A lot of probiotic companies do the opposite. They also showed balanced formulation, clear strain documentation. We know what we're getting in there. They have strong quality controls across their batches. Their communication was thorough, timely, transparent. It's a fantastic product. If you want a clean, reliable, well-tested probiotic that is a company that is scaling and it's ethical and it's transparent, Mary Ruth is great for that. Did you know that most probiotic labels list colony forming units at the time of manufacturing? I mentioned this, not at the time of expiration. So a product can lose up to 80% of its potency in storage without the consumer ever even knowing. Only companies that guarantee potency at expiration can actually tell you what you're actually ingesting. And the last batch of companies to stay away from, at least until the next review, Visbiome, Zymogen, this one hurts my gut, Ion Gut, Thorn, Culturel, Trace Minerals, Quinton Biotech Labs, Integro Health, BrainMD, OptiBac, Sarah and Matina, BioK Plus, Custom Probiotics, and Codage. Same as the other companies that I can't support this year. The next company, Aura Organic, they are one of the most transparent companies in this entire investigation. They sent full COAs from accredited labs, confirming clean results across microbial contaminants, heavy metals, and potency verification. They have a proprietary five nation standard test across multiple countries and labs that is a level of rigor far beyond the industry norm they are doing right by us, making sure that they are verifying their strain identity. They're guaranteeing potency at expiration. They're publishing their batch results publicly and using well-studied acid resistant strains so we get the quality probiotics that are actually doing something. Their documentation was complete, organized, consumer friendly. This is what probiotic transparency should look like. If you want a probiotic with genuine scientific backing, verified purity and the highest level of transparency or as one of my favorite ones on the market. And did you know, as far as probiotics, they can carry mold, yeast, or even pathogenic bacteria if they're not tested correctly. Contaminated probiotics can actually worsen bloating, immune stress, and histamine responses. And only third-party testing can confirm what you're taking in is not producing new problems in your gut. Okay, there you go. You have it out of 56 companies for probiotics, only three pass full transparency. This is why testing matters. This is why certificates of analysis matter. And this is why you cannot trust marketing claims alone not even the CFUs on the package. Clean probiotics will support your digestion, your immune health, neurotransmitters, mental health, inflammation, better overall well-being, but only if the formula is safe and potent. I want you to download the master list. Again, if you missed any product review, go download the master list. It is available for you in the show notes. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy, healthy gut probiotic review 2025.